Okay, so this is my little review of what I did today. Um, first, let's start over here. I put a second coat on the house, over here, um, on the walls. Um, I also painted, see this little thing is going to be the border that goes in between the wallpaper and the paint. So that should be ready to put wallpaper on as soon as that dries, maybe later today, maybe tomorrow. Okay. Um, I also made this. Doesn't look like anything right now, but that's going to be a shelf. Just a basic shelf, and it's going to go over here in the bathroom, I think. Okay. I also took the time today to put together the entire staircase. As I said, the staircase was um, probably so far the most difficult thing to put together. Um, this was just the first staircase. A lot of random things going on. A lot of... There's still some parts drying. I kind of put the cart before the horse on this one. I, tried, I started um, staining and everything maybe before everything was completely dried. But that's okay, because that's why I'm stopping now. Um, take the time. Just take the time to wait. And nothing's ruined or anything like that, but it's just it's annoying. Um... Here are the other pieces for the banisters. I've painted both sides of them to make sure that when I install them on here, they are ready to go. Uh, I did not pop, pop out the mid sections. Can you see they're still in there? I just want, I thought it would be easier to paint like that, and it is, so um, I'm just doing that. I'm probably going to do another coat of stain. There's some sanding that I notice I have to do on the stairs. Even though I sanded before I put everything on, uh, I don't know if you can tell. You probably can't because it's, it's just me being picky, I think. But um, it's very rough on the sides. This wood also, for these, is very tricky because I tried to sand it down um, a little bit. And like it started just like flaking apart. Um... Not exactly sure where it happened. But on one of these pieces, I think. But anyway, see, I was trying to stand in here. And um, you really can't see it now that I stained, but um, it just started like it's a little bit of sawdust. Oh, that'll come right off. It started to, oh, right here. I don't know if you can see that. See that? The particle board, or whatever you want to call it, just started to, like, flake off. So, I'm trying to be incredibly careful with that, because I don't, like, I want it to be smooth, but, I mean, it's very thin, so if I keep sanding, it'll start to just disintegrate, I think. So I might not be able to do that. Um, other than that, everything else is coming together really well. Tomorrow... Or the next time I sit down to this. Um, oh, let's talk about directions here for a second. These directions I found, and I don't know if it's just me, like if it was just today. It might have been. But I just found these really difficult to follow. I don't know why, um, but it just seemed like they were just really difficult to follow. Um, but the pictures right here... It's pretty straightforward. In fact, I really, I read through all the instructions, but I really didn't need the instructions to put the staircase together. Now, I know some of you might say, oh, well, that's probably why it was so difficult. No, I think the reason it was so difficult is because I was following the instructions, and they were just a little weird, a little off, um, made it hard. But these three pictures make things pretty easy to understand. This picture, I don't know why they have that right there, because the step for this is not quite in this area. So, nonetheless, um, next time I will be putting together the second floor staircase. The second floor staircase. So, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. So this is the staircase. And I am putting the staircase together before I finish it. Um, and by finish, I mean, like, paint. Um, I... Here's the story. 
the staircase is very hard to find the pieces for. I said that before. It's even harder to put together. Um, you're gonna need, I've used almost the whole roll. I mean, half a roll maybe. I've been going from different rolls that have been all over the house, so. Anyway, you're gonna need a bunch of tape to put it together. You're also gonna need a bunch of tape to, um, <laughs> you're gonna take off that tape so that you can glue it and then put that tape on. The problem with the instructions, in my opinion, is that the instructions say that they will tell you clearly when to glue, and then they don't on this step. Which I took for, you have to glue, because there's no way that this would have even stayed together if I had not glued it. So, um, so yes, they didn't tell you to glue, and you're going to have to glue. Um, I used, for this part, I did not use a wood glue yet. I used this, Tacky Glue. And the reason that I use tacky glue is because the wood glue is just not going to do this. I wanted it to dry a little bit quicker. What I'm going to do also is I'm going to take wood glue. As you can see, there's still like this part is open. I'm going to take wood glue and I'm going to put it in here in the back side to make sure that it's 100% sealed. I'm also thinking about taking some wood putty and putting it on the inside too because if you can see, I don't know if you can see that, there's like um, pieces that don't quite fit in properly. Uh, the top of the staircase is pretty much the same way too. See all the light that's coming through? I don't know if you can see that. I'm sorry, the camera's adjusting and I'm having trouble. Well, anyway, there's a lot of light that comes through. See, these stairs, uh, they just don't fit right. I'm not sure why. Um, maybe it has something to do with the fact that the stairs didn't pop out properly. This is another thing. These things, the treads and the landings, or whatever you want to call them. Uh, they were in different sections. They weren't really easily labeled, so I'm not exactly sure which one was which. It did say that they should stick out, so uh, that looks like the stick out. I like guess it sticks out to me. They all look kind of even. These ones are slightly bigger than the other ones, which I put here. Here were the smaller ones, here were the bigger ones. Same thing down here. See, they kind of all stick out just enough, and that looks right to me. Now, I might find out later that this is not right, but as of right now, this is what I'm going with because um, it's the best that follows the instructions. Another thing, too, some of these are labeled the same thing as others, and it can be kind of obvious that like this D right here is not like this D right here. But it can just be a little difficult and a little bit tedious. Like this B is obviously not this B, which was right here. So that's just something to keep in mind. Uh, just something I noticed, you know, my little observations. So uh, I just glued on all of these stairs. So, uh, the best way to tape these, here's a little hint, I taped them on this way with a little thin piece of tape and then over. There's really nowhere for you to clamp here because of this angle, so I taped over and around. Lots of tape on this project. Lots of tape. Okay, so, um, yeah, now I'm going to go back over to this part of the house and I'm going to repaint some of it, maybe install some wallpaper later, and get the rest of this going. So that's the next step. Hi everybody. Okay, so I've done a couple things um, just quickly and I haven't made a video because um, it was just really nothing that you could have seen. So as you can see, I have the front wall installed back there and I also have the um, I have started to put more paper here again the back bottom room is papered uh, has a couple things that I need to fix that's fine this floor up here I'm going to actually paint and it's going to have this color um, along the it's actually polka dotted you can't see it but it's gonna be along the floor um, 
kind of similar to the red room that I have. I've taken this and I've gotten it all set. There's a couple air bubbles that need to be pushed out. And um, as I've seen with the Martha Stewart, this will go away. These air bubbles will go away nicely. So, um, And again, there, that's going to turn out to be the, um, the this room right here. So, uh, Also, I followed all the steps and I've glued in the bottom half. I did not glue in the top half. The top half is still wiggly because what we're going to do is we're going to put the ceiling in. Um, but I want to make sure that I have every room set up and ready to go first. So, because I know that everything fits, um, I'm stepping ahead to the point where I would basically set this, excuse me, set this part of the house aside and move on to making the staircase. Now, here's all the pieces for the staircase. And um, I've labeled them very carefully. As you can see... They, some of them had issues coming out of the package. Can you see that? And that's going to need to be sanded down and everything. So I think it's going to take me quite a while to sand all of these pieces down. Um, they're not fully prepared yet or anything like that. And they in there are hard to get out. Okay, so here's my problem with the... Or not problem, but here's my little note for the staircase. Staircase pieces are probably the most difficult to get out. Um, the schematics, actually let me go over there. The schematics for the staircase pieces, well first of all the directions say something very similar to staircase sides A, B, 5, C, 9, D, 5, E, F, 9. Now here's the one thing I wish they would do, and if Greenleaf is watching this, which they're probably not, um, this would be great. If you listed everything, and it would be easier, seeing as how this step, see right here where everything's kind of crossed out, if everything was listed according to the, like for example, see, A and B5, I don't understand why they couldn't have put A, B, and D. See, because D over here also comes from sheet 5. So that would have made life easier because, um, I don't know, see kind of they do it down here. Trim pieces A, B, D, and F from 15. I don't understand why the rest of it isn't done. I mean, because you won't even know what you're doing and what steps until you get to the next step. So, I don't know. I just think that that's difficult. Also, so keep an eye out for that when you're doing this. Um, also, the schematics. I don't even know if I can find one that would prove my point, but... Because the staircases are so small, like see over here, it's hard to focus, sorry. See over here how it kind of says A and so on and so forth. Um, it's a little hard to read, so um, it just makes it getting all the pieces out difficult. It doesn't, it's not a hugely bad thing. I shouldn't say it's a bad thing. It's just that for me is something that was difficult. This was not fun pulling these pieces out. Um, they weren't easy to come out, nothing. So that's just something to keep in mind when you are um, coming to the point where you're doing a staircase. And it's probably the same for every other dollhouse, but this is going to be, like, this is one of three sets of stairs, so. But that's all for now. Um, I'm going to sand some of that down, and I'll talk to you later.